Hi guys, I'm out dog walking in the apocalypse, taking the same walk I took about two years ago. It is now a blah winter day here in South Austin, Texas in the end times, Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. So anyway, what you're looking at here, guys, is this little house probably, I'm guessing, has been here about 50, maybe even 60 years. This little house here in South Austin, Texas. And what has been going on uh, since I arrived back in Austin, Texas about three weeks ago is this homeowner has been building this fence. This uh, giant fence to wall themselves in. And so fine looking fence here and so anyway, they finished their project about three days ago of this wooden fence and it had been standing for two days. And when I was walking by here yesterday, who did I find but the city of Austin code enforcement. This woman out here with her little goddamn tape measure measuring to see how many inches high the fence was to see if these guys if she was going to bust these guys for a a zoning violation a a city of austin code violation which you know uh she was explaining to me like sir i'm just doing my job that somebody complained we had a citizen complaint and uh, she had to go back to the office so I don't know whether these guys were busted or not whether they got to take down their fence but the reason I'm, I'm mentioning all this is because I want to look across the street 40 feet from this fence for the reason why these poor schmucks who have lost about $100,000 off their property values are building this fence. This is what is sitting across the street for them. For going on over two years now, over two years, this neighborhood has been subjected to this all-out attack. As I say, I was walking the pit bull through the apocalypse almost two years ago. And uh, this is what the city of Austin, while they're sitting here busting these people's chops for their, for their little fence, this right here is what the city of Austin is just, uh, you know, cheering on cheering on uh we're taking a look at it but we are giving jobs to mexicans how many mexicans do we have working here today these little little busy obejas let's see we have one two three four five six seven we have eight mexicano trabajadores making money to send back to their families so we are supporting the mexican economy and uh so this is what we have going on almost so this is on one side of the street and then we have the old neighborhood on the other side of the street uh, th this is what the, the neighbors that I'm listening to for two years and then two days after those people build their fence to try whatever they can do to save what is left of their quality of life and property values, they get a citizen complaint that their fence is too tall. And, and, and there it is in a nutshell. I, I need to get uh, selling Christmas trees to clueless morons. So I don't have time to walk you around this whole thing. If we went around the corner, 
Yeah, Lily Lou and I went around the corner. What you would see on this place, I can't remember the, the name of this abortion, this goddamn attack on South Austin, Texas, which is just one example. This is going on all over South Austin, Texas, guys. Uh, but anyway, the, the little slogan, the slogan supporting the, this goddamn abortion is, what is it? New bones, old soul. New bones, old soul. Uh, you, you know, making the connection with these little young 25 to 34 year old beautiful people that Austin, Texas is selling out to, they're implying that this, this is, is an old soul, that this building uh, is, an, is a highly evolved spiritual being. This is what uh, Lily Lou has to say about the highly evolved spiritual being. That is the uh, the Austin, the uh, the Texas State Bird right there, otherwise known as the Austin Crane. This crane has been sitting here for two years, turning Austin, Texas, and this neighborhood into a war zone. And as I mentioned in my rant two years ago, <clears throat> this is an example of smart growth. That's the name, uh, these little save the planet yuppies. Uh, the name for this is smart growth. We have old soul smart growth. As the new bones, as the new bones take shape, in South Austin, Texas, and we support the Mexican, Honduran, El Salvadoran, and Guatemalan economies. In any way, the pit bull is getting uh, upset here, and I got Christmas trees to sell to clueless morons, and it is starting to rain, <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to have to wrap up this rant okay I guess I guess this is maybe Santa Claus is coming early we have the Manitowoc Cubers Flakers and Nugget and the Taylor Margarita machine or soft serve yogurt all right that looks pretty good pretty good we have hot fudge sundaes for the beautiful people i guess we're probably getting a my guess is a new margarita machine installed over there somewhere i might have to go have one of those end times margaritas myself tonight anyway what do you think, Lily, 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 Lily? She says, take me home. Bye, guys.